Hello everyone! In this video we create a simple quiz game with Trophy Room. We will answer the questions and get our trophy for each correct answer. Three correct answers mean three cute trophies. As usual, scripts and art assets can be downloaded by the links in the description. Let's get started. Here in project folder I have some additional folders created which contain art assets, cool chunk 5 font I like a lot, scenes of our game, main menu, for scenes and trophy room scene, and scripts folder with C sharp scripts to control our game. Create all of these scenes and save them. Open build settings window, select all of the scenes and drag and drop them into this window. Each scene has its own built index now, which we will use later in our script. Double click main menu and let's fill it with game objects. Add a background. Reset its transform position. Next add quiz sign. Set its order layer to 5 so it's rendered in front of the background. Position it at the top. Add question sign. Set its order in layer to 5. Position it at the top right corner and rotate a bit. Add exclamation sign. Set order in layer to 5. Position it at the top left corner and rotate it a bit too. Create new UI canvas. Set its scale mode to scale with screen size. Right click on canvas and create new UI button. Name it as play button. Anchor it at the center holding Alt plus Shift keys. Position it a bit lower. Drag and drop button sprite into source image slot so button now looks not so standard. Modify its width and height. Change its text component. Set font family as chunk 5. Set font size. Set its color to nice blue. Right click on color field and copy its value. We will use this color for all of the rest text. Duplicate play button, name it as trophy room button. Position it under play button. Change its text component and type trophy room and modify its font size. Duplicate trophy room button. Name it Reset button. We will use this button to reset player preferences variables and values. Anchor it at the bottom left holding Alt plus Shift keys. Change its width and height. Modify its text component. Create new empty game object. Name it as Main Menu Control. It will control our main menu scene with this script. Add this script to main menu control game object. Select play button and add new unclick function. Select main menu control and select start game method from main menu script. Select trophy room button. Add new unclick function. Select main menu control. Select go to trophy room method. Select Reset button, add new and click function, select Main Menu Control, select Reset Player Preferences method. Save Main Menu Scene. It's done. Double click on Trophy Room Scene and let's complete it. Add a background and reset it. Add a shelf, set its order in layer to 5, position it like so. 
Let's add some additional stuff, so our shelf doesn't look so empty, while we didn't earn any trophy. It's a coffee box and a tea bag, which we will add a bit later. Add three cups also and position them as you wish. Don't forget to set their ordering layer to greater than shelves one, so cups are rendered in front of the shelf. Here is our tea bag. Create new UI canvas. Set its scale mode to scale with screen size. Right click on canvas and create new UI text. It's going to be a trophy room title. Anchor it at the top center. Set its width and height. Set font family and font size. Set alignment and color so the sign appears that way. Right click on canvas and create new UI button. It's going to be back button that returns us to main menu scene. Anchor it at the top left. Drag and drop button sprite to source image slot. Set width and height. Modify its text component. Set font family. Set font size. Paste color value that we copied earlier. Back button needs a script. Here is a simple one. Add back button script to back button game object. Make sure back button is selected and add new unclick function. Select back button object and select back to main menu method from back button script. Create new empty game object. Name it as trophy room control. It will control appearance of our trophies. Add trophy room control script to this game object. Script controls cups game object and set them active and inactive depending on if we earn them. Select trophy room control and drag and drop cups game objects into corresponding slots of its script. This scene is done. Save it. Double click scene 1, it will be question 1 scene. Add a background as we did it before. Add a cat, set its order layer to 5 and reset it. Now we need to add some text to control our game objects through the script later. I have text to disable and to enable created. To create them hit add tag option, then hit plus and create tag you need. Ok. Select cat and add a tag to disable to it, so this game object will be disabled when answer is given. Add first trophy, which is cup 1. Position it like so and scale it a bit. Set order layer to 6. Add a tag which is to enable, so cup will be shown when correct answer is given. Add correct sign. Set order and layer to greater one. Reset its position. Add tag to enable, so it will be enabled when correct answer is given. Add incorrect sign. Reset it. Set order and layer. Add to enable tag, so it will be shown when wrong answer is given. Create new UI canvas. Set scale mode to scale with screen size. Right click on canvas and create new UI text. It will be a title of the scene. 
anchored at the top center. This title displays question 1 sign. Set width and height. Set font family. Set font size. Align it. By the way, it has to have to disable tag. Set its color. Right click on canvas and create another UI text. It will contain question text. Anchor it at the top, set width and height. Add to disable tag. Position it under the title text. And type in question text. Set font family. Set font size. Align it and set horizontal overflow. Set color. Right click on canvas and create new UI button. It will be answer 1 button. Add to disable tag. Anchor it at the center and change its position. Drag and drop button sprite into source image slot. Set width and height. Modify answer text. It's going to be the wrong answer. Modify font options. And paste our blue color. Duplicate answer 1 button 3 times. Rename this button as answer 2, answer 3 and answer 4 buttons. Position button 2 under button 1. And modify its answer text. It's going to be the wrong answer too. Position button 3 at the right side. Modify its text. This is going to be the right answer. Position button 4 under button 3. Modify its answer text as wrong one. Right click on canvas and create new UI text. It will be text shows that trophy is given. Add to enable tag to it. Set width and height. Modify its text field and font settings. Right click on canvas and create new UI button. It will be back button to return to main menu. Anchor it at the top left. Add button sprite. Set width and height. Modify text and font settings.
add back button script to this back button. Make sure back button is selected and add new on click function. Select back button object and select back to main menu method from its script. Create new empty game object. Name it as level control, which will control this scene with level control script. Add this script to level control game object. Here is this script. Pretty well commented, so there shouldn't be some trouble to get it. Select level control object and drag and drop corresponding game objects to its script component slots. As it is level 1, so we name player preferences variable to contain data if cup 1 is obtained as cup 1 got. Select all of the answers button and add new onclick function to them. Then select answer1 button and as it is wrong answer, select wrong answer method from level control script. Select answer2 button. It's wrong answer2. Select wrong answer method. Select answer3 button and as it is correct answer, so select right answer method here. Answer4 button gets wrong answer method. Save this scene. Select all of the game objects in this scene and copy them by pressing Ctrl plus C keys. Then double click scene 2 and paste these game objects into hierarchy. Remove cat and cup 1 game objects. And replace them with pig and cup 2. Modify their transform and sprite render options. Add to disable tech to pig and to enable tech to cup 2. Modify title text Modify question text Modify answer buttons text fields Select level control game object and drag and drop cup game object to corresponding slot. It's missed because we removed previous cup. I also change which cup got to cup 2 got. Select answer 1 button. As long as it's wrong answer, we need to change its on click option. Select button 2. It's going to be correct answer. Change its method to right answer. Button 3 in its turn gets wrong answer method. Nothing to change with button 4. Scene 2 is done. Save it and double click scene 3 and paste previously copied game objects. Remove cat and cop. Add a dog. Set its transform and order in layer. Add to disable tag. Add cop 3. Set transform and order in layer. Add to enable tag. 
Modify title text. Modify question text. Modify answer buttons text fields. Select Level Control and drag and drop Cup 3 into corresponding slot. Change which Cup got value to Cup 3 got. Modify buttons on click methods. This time button 4 gets right answer method, while the other buttons get wrong answer method. Save scene 3. Double click scene 4. Add a background. Create new UI text, which will show you win sign. Anchor it at the center. Modify its text field and font settings. Create new empty game object. Name it as Win Scene Control. This game object takes control over this scene by the script, then just loads main menu scene in one second. Add the script to Win Scene Control. Save this scene and go to main menu scene. Everything is ready. Hit play and see what we've got. Here is our game. There is nothing in trophy room yet. Let's play to earn some prizes. What animal is this? Maybe it's a dog? No. Let's play again. Maybe it's a cow? Run again. Try who? Nope. Oh, I got it. It's a kitty. That's correct answer. We've got new trophy and proceed to level 2. What are you staring at? Have a change? No. Back to the start. But now in trophy room we have our first cup. Let's move on. It is a kitty. Hey, come on is wrong answer. Another try. Nothing? Yeah, right. Another cup is earned. Great, we have two cups now. Let's get third one. Kitty. Nothing. Surely it's a bone. Right, I got last cup and I win. And now my trophy room is full of cups. I can reset my progress by pressing reset button. And no cups anymore in our trophy room. We can start again. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.